This is Money and Public Finance, Program Become Subject Economics, Semester 2nd, University Mangalore, Session 15. Friedman's Restatement of Quantity Theory of Money Milton Friedman presented his most elegant and sophisticated version of quantity theory of money in his paper, The Quantity Theory of Money, a Restatement, published in 1956. Basic features of Friedman's Restatement of Quantity Theory of Money are It is a wealth theory of demand for money. In his view, money is a durable consumer good held for the service it renders and yielding a flow of services proportional to the stock. It gives a broader concept of money. Money is regarded as rendering a variety of services because of the fact that it serves as a temporary abode of generalized purchasing power. It is a general demand theory. The general theory of consumer goods can be applied to the demand for money. Friedman assumes the taste and preferences of money holders are constant. Money is subject to the law of diminishing marginal rate of substitution. Forms of wealth. For Friedman, wealth consists of anything which is capable of generating an income stream. He distinguished five forms of assets that is, money, bonds, equities, physical goods, and human capital. Determinants of demand for money. Broadly speaking, the demand for money theory, the demand for money is thought of depend on three major factors. Total wealth to be held in various forms of assets, relative price of and return on one form of wealth as compared to the other forms. Taste and preferences of the wealth holder, cost of holding cash balances is influenced by the rate of interest, the expected rate of change in the price level. Friedman's demand for money function. Friedman's demand for function money is m is equal to f of y w p r b r e r c u where m is aggregate demand for money y is total flow of income w is ratio of non-human to human wealth p is general price level r b is bond yields the market bond interest rate RE equity yields market interest rate of equities. RC the expected rate of change of prices of commodities. U is utility determined variables which tend to influence tastes and preferences. The equation indicates that the amount of money demanded changes proportionately to the changes in the unit which prices and money income are expressed. The modern quantity theory of money states that as long as the demand for money is stable, a change in money supply causes a change in the price level. Money supply also affects the real value of national income and economic activities but in the short run only.
in the figure m s and m s 1 is supply of money curves m d is is equal to k y is a demand for money y 0 is a equilibrium income where m d is equal to m s if m s increases to m s 1 income increases to y 1 next is the significance of the theory the significance of the modern quantity theory of money is found in its important implications like stable demand function key role of price level explanation of changes in the income velocity importance of expected inflation low interest elasticity of demand role of monetary policy factors affecting supply of money thank you